they're beating us. Come on, yeah. hurry up. <laughs> Some of them, and some of them just How long do you think they'd last in the yeah, water? You've, um, you've got them on little legs, huh? Eight months. Yeah, those are um, mm. angle bars. Mm. And the angle bars really They're still are. angle bars, are mm -hmm. they? Right. Just wait till it stops dropping. Not the very much. It's pretty dense. Uh, keeping an eye on the clams? Yeah, they, we have a caretaker and most of them know us. So when they find clams, they usually just put it inside our enclosures and then we pay for them afterwards. Mm -hmm. You've had no trouble with poaching out here? Oh, no. So far. <laughs> oh, right. Because the surf isn't big enough for a person. It's quite spectacular. It's too big. Is that anything that's illegal Pretty or? Uh, it is. But still goes on. Oh, yeah. It's not like they just use a mixture of fertilizer. Yeah. fertilizer yeah. and things like that. You've made a little fence around it as well. Yeah, a little bamboo fence too. Oh, yeah. That's well, made of bamboo and. Um, yes. Fish, fish what's that? Just so so people will know definitely, or is it to what, what's what's the reason? Is oh it, yeah, so people will know it's it's, it's an it's experimental area, area, and then yeah. there are Pulling. signs in the local dialect and in Tagalog to tell them that it's down there, the other side. Yeah, right. The side These are the archipelagos of the We have a lot of juveniles here already. That's the one hippopotamus that's on the other. So that's the one that is Fishermen are now bringing in uh, plants to us. And uh, so we're building up our sort of blue stock. I think. Uh, well, you saw some out in the field. Uh, pretty soon we'll have enough of Maxima and Spamosa to play around with almost any way we want to. Now here we have the uh, six uh, Hippopus, uh, which we uh, had flown in from uh, Cuyo Islands in, in the Sulu Sea. Uh, we originally had eight. Now uh, it's a natural spawning event, so uh, I don't know what uh, what it is about the spawning process. I think because that uh, they get strained. You know, slowly dying after it's spawn. So we're down to six now, but uh, I think they're doing relatively well. Uh, so that the, one of the shell dealer here, uh, you know, who uh, gets live tridacna from the collectors periodically. Now, since they know that we're in the live, you know, tridacna business, when they have any live animals, they bring them to us. Now, when we have Shells. shells. We give them the we shells. So there's, the a, shells. there's a trade. After all, they're only, only interested in the shells. We're interested in the live animal. First, uh, squamosa Spawn. spawning, and then along here we have uh, some hippopus. Again, these are from Angel, and uh, some yeah. dorasa from uh, Jerry. Them all out 
in the ocean nursery. I, I, I'm trying to, you know, not put all my eggs in one basket. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think for the initial ocean nursery phase. But uh, as you can, see, as you saw from some of them uh, out there now, they didn't grow too well. Uh, we were concerned more with poaching than anything else. That's why we wanted them close to the station. But finally, we were able to work out a, uh, an arrangement with a fisherman out at Silaki. Uh, as you notice, the site there is within sight of the settlement. So uh, once we had that worked out, we moved them from the, the inside uh, nursery areas. So they're all out there now. And uh, I think uh, they're going to be okay uh, where they are. Um, you can see the difference in size, you know, the same cohort with, with Angel. Now his were put out almost uh, immediately. But uh, I think, as you, can, as you saw over there this morning, they're catching up to, uh, you know, as they're growing now as fast as they should, they should be growing. It doesn't stay in the water and then, and then contaminate the, the water. And, but we still find we get a lot of this growth. We look them up under the microscope and they're mostly dinoflagellates. Uh, originally, you have uh, some bacteria as a sort of mat, Chill. the basal mat, and then afterwards, the, the dinoflagellates build on this mat. You get a succession. The dinoflagellates here are different from the ones in the other plant, which is older. That's interesting. <laughs> so we had to drain it again. Wait, with that, that was a pretty strong earthquake. Yeah, I think it was intensity five. And the intake is about uh, 12 feet below the surface. Mm -hmm. And they come in. You can either use both or one at a time. The water comes in and uh, then it's pumped up to the reservoir tanks to do this. Now we have an electric motor and a, a diesel. Uh, Okay. Uh, I'm one of the research assistants of the UP Marine Science Institute Giant Clam Project. And we're trying to do some work on uh, rearing giant clams of different species, specifically Tridacna squamosa, Tridacna maxima, and Hippopus hippopus, uh, from the egg to the post-metamorphic and juvenile stages. And then uh, we have some setups in Gigiwan and Bolinal Pangasinan and uh, ocean nursery in, out in Silaki. Um, we have some, we did, we did some extension work with the people of Silaki before we put out those clams there. And we've uh, broached the possibility of them doing some clam farming with uh, us providing the seeds for them. And they've seemed very um, amenable to the idea and uh, right now, we're still trying to grow out most of our first batch of our squamosa to sizes, in which, to sizes where we can give them out to, to the people of Silaki for uh, eventual farming for food.